What's going on everybody? I want to show you something that I've been working very hard on this week. It's a room detector. If you've ever played a game like RimWorld or Prison Architect, you know that when you enclose a space, uh, the game will automatically detect that that space is enclosed and then it will turn it into a room. In the case of a game like RimWorld, in that room you can change the temperature to hot or cold, uh, you can change the name of that room, it detects the type of furniture you put in that room, and there's just so much you can do with this kind of a system and when I first started I thought oh that can't be too hard <laughs> and about 12 hours later this is what I've come up with and I'm still working on it so I'm showing you guys what I have uh, done so far and I'm gonna uh, explain how it works because uh, I couldn't find really any uh, guides or tutorials out there on this and uh, so Here's basically how it works. You start off, uh, when the game starts, it will turn the room into a big grid. Now this grid is, I think, 48 by 48. <clears throat> so it's just a big grid in a DS uh, grid. So um, to start the engine, I'm gonna click the space bar and it's gonna spawn a single object that multiplies itself throughout the, the entire room, basically does a flood fill and every time that object is created within the grid it will detect if there's a wall there so like here where my mouse is right now there's no wall there so it will set that node to one if it detects a a, uh, a wall it will set that node to the number two uh, the default node is zero so all these gray squares where you don't see a wall those are zero so basically it goes through the entire room and it's setting, okay, empty space, that's one. Okay, wall, that's two. Now, here's the thing, when it hits a wall, it destroys itself. So it can't go into an enclosed space. So like here, it could go in here and then multiply itself in here. Okay, that's one, these are two, this is a wall. But these enclosed spaces, when it hits these walls, it destroys itself so there's no way in. So after the system runs, it will then detect are there still nodes with the number zero? And of course, all within these walls, it's still gonna be the number zero. So if there's still nodes with zero, that means that's an enclosed space. So what it's gonna do is spawn another type of checker, which uh, is a room checker. So it's gonna spawn an item in here, and it does it all at the same time. Uh, and, and then it's gonna do the same thing that first checker did, but within the room. So that's gonna go all through here, setting all these nodes to a randomly generated room ID. Uh, it's gonna put that ID in a list, and um, let me just show you how it works. So I'm gonna click the space bar, and we're gonna watch it go. Boom. So, uh, that's basically what it did. And you can see I can put my mouse cursor in on the top in the middle here. It will show me what my mouse is over. Right now it's outside, which again is the number one. Now it's on a wall, which again is the number two. <clears throat> and in these rooms, which was zero, it assigned it for this room, uh, the number 436. So that's 309, that's 467, that's 93. So yeah, it works pretty good. Now every time I remove a wall, or add a wall, the whole thing starts over and it, and it all updates. So if I uh, enclose this space right here, it goes all over and it then detects that that is a room. Now I can like uh, create more rooms and uh, there we go. So you can see here I have a list of all the room IDs and then for now the room name is just room colon and then the number and here's a list of that. Uh, and again, yeah, I can put my mouse over it and it's gonna detect uh, what room that my mouse is over. Now, here's three rooms right here. One, two, three. And these grayed out walls are uh, the same as these purple ones just within a room. Uh, but anyway, you have these three rooms here. If I delete this wall, basically one of these rooms is gonna absorb the other. So you see 340, or I'm sorry, 374 for this green room. 500 for the gray room. Now the colors are going to change, but the ID should stay the same. So I'm going to remove this wall and 500 <clears throat> just absorb the other room. And do the same with this. It's either going to be 500 or 453. Let's see. And 500 won again. <clears throat> so it's, uh, it's a pretty cool system and I can go ahead and connect all of this if I wanted to. And uh, I could just make it one big room 500 is just absorbing everything. <laughs> <clears throat> and there we go. So now you can see 
it's just one big room. And of course, I can add a wall there. Now there's two rooms. Remove the wall again. That's one big room again. Then I can remove this wall and the room's gone because it's not a room anymore because it kind of has an outside opening. And uh, we can enclose that again. And so there it is. So this is the system that I have right now. Now I'm actually recoding a lot of this because I actually found a more efficient way to do things uh, as well as keep the IDs every time the rooms refresh, uh, which is going to be very important. Uh, but yeah, this is what I have so far. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you have any ideas or, or anything, uh, I'd love to know your thoughts. Leave a like in the video uh, as well. Also, if you would like to play around with this engine, I went ahead and threw it up on Marketplace for about $3 or something like that. Uh, it's right here. It's called Enclosed Spaces. Everything I put on my Marketplace is going uh, towards this project that I'm working on. I've been buying sound effects. I've been buying graphics, and uh, which is supporting other developers. But um, And I've also been buying assets on the Marketplace. So uh, I do have things up for sale on the Marketplace. If you'd like to buy this and play around with it, go for it. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, just know that I'm going to be updating this uh, as I update the actual engine. So uh, what you'd be getting is what I showed you right now. And like I said, I'm recoding a lot of it because I found a way to make it more efficient and better. Uh, and then I'll be updating it on the marketplace as well. Um, so you can get it there if you want it. Uh, it's on sale right now. When it's fully done, I'll probably take the sale price off. Also, I went ahead and made a Patreon. I don't have any Patreon supporters right now, sad face. But um, <clears throat> if you would rather support me on Patreon, there's a $10 bracket right here. Uh, and everybody in the $10 bracket gets everything that I post on the marketplace for free. So that way, if there are things that you like that I post on the marketplace, you get access to all of this for for free. Uh, you know, it's just that ten dollars on Patreon, <clears throat> and then you you can get total access to this. So some of the things I have on the marketplace, I have an online multiplayer engine. This is like a chat room um, thing going on, and it's all multiplayer online. Um, I have this. Um, where's it at? This this ability to change the alpha of an entire layer so this thing's pretty cool this is how i change the seasons on my game so you can like totally make a layer invisible or make it reappear so it's pretty cool you get that um a palette swapper uh so basically you can change the color of one sprite to many different colors uh, by just changing the palette and that would save you a lot of time painstakingly respriting for different colors so um, there's that there's many different things on here some particle effects countdown timer uh, notification RPG targeting all this is on here <clears throat> and again everything I sell in my marketplace goes to support my current projects but also my patreon does the same thing so that's why i figured if you if anyone wants to support me on patreon you can get access to all of this for no additional charge so anyway thank you guys so much for watching love you guys you guys are awesome if you're not already follow me on twitter also i made a discord uh join the discord we'd, we'd love to uh see what you're working on you can post some information about your projects and as well as get some help uh if you need it and uh thank you guys so much for watching see ya